the uh, the thing uh, the thing at the Capitol, the sermon at the Capitol, was a lot more planned out than people would think, and mm-hmm. to the point where there were pipe bombs yep. that were placed strategically in areas and stuff like that. And that's what it is that kind of got my hair sticking up on edge, you know. Yeah, well, then you think if there is that combination of 20,000 guards, you know, National Guards troops in uh, Washington, D.C., all armed, and you think about the people who might show up, uh, you know, you, you don't want to think that that could be like the Franz Ferdinand uh, moment where everything kicks off. But if you'd ask for a situation where that could potentially happen, it would be exactly that. I'm actually more thinking of the um, extreme service members, even in the city, like that might be there now. That well, if oh, something that, were to kick off, they would join would the would be service. sticking up for what you know their orders are. So they would defy uh, the orders of their, you know, uh, they would defy direct orders based on. You know, their nationalism and you know, the same thing that the people who serve the capital believe. That's, oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, I mean, that would, you know, if fighting kicks off, then they just go over to the other side and completely, you know, disavow their oath and uniform. Well, and, and over, so over this last summer, I actually had a lot of people call me out. Um, I'm sure you saw, like, I was pretty vocal about the protests and everything, but I had a lot of people uh come at me and just say hey you said that you would protect your against your country and they were saying i was i was going against the oath that i took where it's no these like yeah the rioters and and whatnot and the protests that i were involved that i was involved with that were out there like a lot of those people were arrested the ones that caused harm mm-hmm. as a lot of other people like in just now yeah. and everything mm-hmm. Well, they, they are they are getting arrested, but it's they are they were definitely getting handled and treated a little bit differently. I would think you know if those people were all black who had stormed the Capitol, I mean they would have you'd have an A ten warthog, you know, just mowing them down. Yeah, there were no attack dogs. I mean, pepper spray was pepper spray wasn't used. Tear gas was yeah. mm-hmm. smoke more than anything really. Um, but I mean, there wasn't any cops didn't like charge into people and and start just wailing on them with batons like they did at BLM. Mm-hmm. Um, they didn't have attack dogs like they had at the Black Lives Matter protests. I mean, it, it was docile. Yeah. 